Oh crap, that looks real. Oh man, he's gonna need a shot after this. <laughs> what, they put that on the front page? Are you crazy? Yeah, you're gonna need the 50 on that one. That didn't work out. I would be swimming so much faster than that. Welcome, my name is Warren, and today I will be watching Alligator for the first time. Alligator came out in 1980. It has a 6.1 on IMDb. And the logline goes, a baby alligator is flushed down a Chicago toilet and survives by eating discarded laboratory rats injected with growth hormones. The small reptile grows gigantic, escapes the city sewers, and goes on a rampage. Does that not sound like a good time to you? Just finished reading this book recently uh, by one of my good friends, his name is, I call him QT, but other people call him Quentin Tarantino. Either way, he finished this book recently and I read it and it's fantastic. And he says something about this movie in the book, which I'll, I'll detail later in after the movie. I'm, I'm gonna read a, a little bit of the book so you guys know what I'm talking about. But supposedly this movie influenced Tarantino quite a bit in his younger years, so this should be pretty exciting. It's a science fiction, suspense, horror, and serious film. <laughs> I hope you guys are ready for this. Robert Forster, looks like he's in his prime here. All right, let's do this. Just get straight to the point here. I guess this is what we're working with. Oh, and you thought that was just an old dead log lying there, I'll tell you. That was a nice pullback. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. It's real. I can do it. Oh, crap. Oh crap, that looks real. So real. Can you shoot it? Stay calm now. We got everything under control. Definitely lost that leg. Sometimes gators win. Oh, well, we can't say that would be the first time that happened. Well, it looked like he still had his foot. That looks so much better than what really happened in the water. What about when he grows up? I'll give it to a zoo. I'll call him Ramon. Yeah. Yeah. One of the reasons why you'll never find me living down in Florida. One of the many reasons. And you know this happens. I've been fiddling with a script for a while now, polishing it for the last five years. And uh, it has to do with big cats, but what inspired me was people that go after exotic animals and like to take them home. And a lot of them find out they can't keep them after a certain size or didn't realize they would get to a certain size and <laughs> tried to avoid them as much as possible by getting rid of them. They get so big they don't know what to do with them so they just let them loose. Twelve years later. It only took twelve years for that thing to get gigantic. I know just what you're going through. <laughs> Midlife crisis. <laughs> patch on the back, the thinning of the front, you know what I mean? Same thing, same thing, you know? Yeah. Had another one. We swiped him out in front of a grocery store. Must have been in there two minutes and bingo. Yeah, that sure goes on a lot around this neighborhood. Did you call the cops? I am the cops. Name was Snaps, the one I got grabbed. <laughs> that was his cue to stop talking. How do you suppose it got this way? It looks like it was chewed up. Yeah, it's working. Ooh, waste management. Calluses. Oh, God. Anything else? Wow. Got a Lassa Apsa floating in the same sludge tank. Oh, it looks so real. Some kind of pooch. Yeah, some kind of dog. Are, are they not allowed to make movies look this real these days? 
I feel like everything's just CG and looks so fake. We got a big toe in the morning. I'm all for practical Nothing effects. Else, just a big toe. Yeah. Never found the rest of them. But we figured out who it was. Had a funeral and everything. Pretty small casket. <laughs> all the internal organs have been cut out. Clean as a whistle. Lyron's cords cut too. Ooh. Looks exactly like Taffy, but it's way too big. You know, she has the same markings, the same color. Everything. This fit her two months ago when I lost her. This sweater fit this dog? Uh -huh. <laughs> Come on. Get in. See if you can make some friends. Hmm. Huh? I'm gonna need a lot more of those for this experiment. How about some cats? Got plenty of cats. Puppies. I also got a parrot I'd like to get rid of. Puppies. And we're through with those. You can dump them. Oh, my God. A cop came by my store this morning. I must wet my pants. I'm scared, you know. I'm really scared. Maybe I ought to lay low for a while, huh? Gotcha. I need a lot more animals. The old man's breathing down my neck for results. Now get cracking. Right. Puppies. Oh, Puppies. 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 I wonder if they're testing them with flies. Beagle puppies. I've been there. Driven down there. <laughs> Just like I was in Greece. Of course, it's kind of poopy water that's going down through that LA River there, straight into the ocean. Nice little SWAT sticker. Is he the one that's gonna get it first? Oh, that was a puppy, a dog? That's great. Oh my god! <laughs> oh! I knew, I knew it. he's gonna get it. I bet his arm comes off first as he reaches for the dog. This is great. This is a good movie. I'm very excited to to explore these movies that he suggested in this book. A lot of them from the 70s. I wonder what they're putting in these dogs that would make the crocodile gigantic. It's got Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle vibes, but I guess this was before that. Oh no, you're really gonna... Oh god. I'm clogged that bite. That is nasty water. Oh man, he's gonna need a shot after this. Get him in the ass. Well, you didn't get him in the ass. Oh, great. Wow. If this keeps up, I'm gonna open a spare part shop. <laughs> this guy cut his nails square. Yeah. The other one rounded them off. What was he wearing on his feet? Wearing boots? No, he's wearing uh, alligator wingtips with lifts in them. That's your regulation sewer gear. You know, we got one here. I would not want to fall in there. Oh my. Is it possible for a mature dog to double its size in, say, two month period? No, not at the present time. Look, detective, I'd like to be more help to you, but, um... Is it possible for one of these dogs to uh, get loose and wind up in the sewer system? No. No way. Definitely not. Take it from him. Pardon? It's a doctor. So your test animals are very quiet. We cut the larynx when they first come in. It uh, helps keep the noise level down. There it does. It's dark. This happens too. What did the police really have on you? 
Well, Gutcher was paid out of the slush fund, so there's no way he can be tied to the company. I've disposed of any animals that could be traceable. I don't know why I'm supposed to talk to him. Because it's your case. You gotta face the music. In this city, we use a combination sewage and drainage system. Therefore, the bodies could have found their way into the system at any point. I believe in that case, your partner was stabbed to death. Mm. He was shot. That's right. I'm sorry. Gotcha. He's got a, He's a good performer. Is the reason why Quentin used him in Jackie Brown. This character left an impression on him. Shamsky, I got a court appearance today. What is it? My breath? Shoot fingers or something? I need somebody. I'll go. <laughs> Yeah, well, I'm gonna need some boots or something. I just uh, shine my shoes, and I don't want to get them wet. You bet. You bet. You hit some methane pockets. Well, I hope he dies good and quick. Right off. Quick meaning early in the movie. Good to see a hairstylist. <laughs> Let your hair grow down and whip it across. Nobody will be able to see it. Why is everybody so concerned with his hair? I killed a man in the store. Madison. <laughs> well, look, you give us a second. I'll take you down to Sergeant Reynolds. Kill the rest of you? How do you intend to do that? Boom. I'm wired to explode. You two. Don't move. Why would you do it, son? They told me to. Who told you? The voices. On the radio. Madison? He's bluffing. Take him to the left. Call it, Kelly. I'll kill us all. You told me to. On the radio. I don't care what you do. I stopped wanting to be a cop about last week. I had. Don't even blink. Right near the counter. Got 11 seconds more. Okay. All right. Nine seconds more. Wait. I got it. I got it. I got it. Now, don't anybody move. Hold them real tight. All right. Let's see what we got here. It's a radio. Uh, next time, try Lawrence Will. Hey, Sloan, with all the paperwork, come here and book this guy. Okay. Not really sure how that pushes the story any further, but. Did you see the look on that guy's face? <laughs> oh, I don't know why you thought he was bluffing. Maybe the writer wanted us to see how this guy would react. We'll see. Are we supposed to sympathize with that blondie before he dies? Is he gonna be the only one that lives? Jack, you might find some turtles. All I heard is it's uh, kind of unhealthy to work with you. Why did you volunteer? So I can take care of myself. You know what I mean? Smart kid. These maps aren't complete. Some of these tunnels date back to 1890. Loose track. There you go. As long as you get home before supper. Maybe you will be supper. Don't light any matches. Saw a methane explosion in St. Louis once. Blew a hole in the street. Goddamn bus fell through it. <laughs> well, at least we could find our way out of here. Where are we? According to this, Cleveland. I knew a guy like you in St. Louis, Wild Billy, used to call him. He'd just kick a door in and see what happened. We were down by the ballpark one time. You, you know St. Louis? Kelly? Did he fall in? Kelly? What the heck? Where'd he go? Kelly! That would be freaky. Ooh. Kelly! Welcome to the rock. It kind of reminds me of the rock. I'm going under Alcatraz in order to infiltrate the prison. Ooh. Kelly! 
Watch your ass. They've got the point of view like they did in Halloween. Ooh. I don't know, was Halloween the first movie where they did the killer's point of view? What do you think? I think someone's been here recently. Yeah, I think we ought to come back here with a crew and really let this joint over. I don't mind telling you, I'm getting a little tired of this sewer. Oh, son of a bitch. Wait a minute, I got it. Here you go, unroll it one more. That's it, that's it. Oh shit! Oh, that was so cool. That was a great shot. You ought to get some kind of an outlet. Oh, that was... Get you home for dinner. I'm oh. not hungry anymore. Well, that was a fantastic little glimpse. Right behind them. I like that. It was creative. Oh my god, that thing is huge! Jesus! Ah! Whoa! You know how fast that thing would be able to swim? Oh, he's, I guess he is gonna catch it up to him. What was I thinking? Of course he's gonna be able to catch up to them. Yes! Oh man! He is in shock. Whoa, that was great. It can't be too expensive to shoot in sewers. Good idea if somebody wants a controlled environment for their movie. No. No. How'd I get here? Well, you just popped out of a manhole at Campbell Street and started yelling alligator. <laughs> Kelly. Oh, man. Kelly. You gotta tell somebody. Yeah, nobody knows yet. Kelly's family is still unaware. Still out there just enjoying their afternoon. What happened to Kelly? Did you find him? Nothing. Not a sign of you, you know what either. Now look, stay a couple of days. Just take it easy. Why does he have to stay a couple of days? There's nothing wrong with him. Go home for rest. You think I'm gonna lay in this bed while the kid I sent down in the sewer is I know, unaccounted right? for? Are these uh, your snakes? No, they belong to the university. I found one of those in my campsite once in California. A couple of non-poisonous species at home. Though. It was bigger than 15 feet. Not to mention the question of how it got there in the first place. If you're looking at the one who saw it, and it was big. You said it was dark. Now, perhaps you're mistaken. Can I borrow this book? You can have it. R radioactivity is so ambiguous. You can, ha you can have your creature turn into anything and just say, it's, it's radioactive. It is. It's got three heads. It's 15 foot long and 1,000 pounds. I'm sorry. Thank you, Bert. It's radioactive. It'll take a lot of guys, but we'll flush them out. The only thing you're gonna... Look at the eyebrows on this guy. He, he, <laughs> he almost has a comb over with his eyebrows. Nice. More recent disappearance. City officials have been... That graphic behind him looks like an alligator also. This reporter, for one, is not satisfied. He kept coming up with some garbage about alligators in the sewers. Alligators, alligators in the sewers? In the sewers? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's not a surprise. Perfect. It's exactly where you need to be. Nice, wonderful place. I guess when you're a journalist, you have to be hands-on. Boots on the ground.
That would sound horrific. Oh man. Master Splinter. That was like three Master Splinters. So the rats are gonna get big, right? And intelligent and learn karate. I guess I was like, that's weird. It's kind of like an homage to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. But this was before that. <laughs> Damn, somebody's gonna find that camera? That's gonna be great. Wow, he's getting a lot of pictures off. That's a pretty good record collection. <laughs> like this little bit of records right here is like a hundred records. Marissa Kendall. And if you think about it, it's, when you're buying records today, it's like twenty to fifty dollars. Wait a minute, so slow down. Times a hundred. Here's this camera. It got caught in a great Perfect. Did it get wet though? The sanitation people, they won't go in any further. I'm almost certain that wouldn't be developable. Develop, developable? Would that be developable? I'm gonna go with it. Developable. Huh? This last picture is huh? shit. What do you think, Chief? You believe me now? Imagine clicking away with your camera while that's coming at you. Well, yeah. Make the front page anyway. That's all he really wanted. Thomas Kemp, the popular columnist. What? <laughs> they put that on the front page? Are you crazy? That is fingers in the picture. The only clue to his disappearance. Was fished out of a filtration tank. Man. Works late last night. These newspapers are evil. What appeared to be an abnormally large... That's an interesting angle for a news reporter. Responsible for at least four deaths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Two, three, four, two. Oh, he must have brought it home. Where are you? I'm like, who's who's putting that thing in his apartment? I guess he brought it home. What, really? To bring in the National Guard? Swat. I mean, in seriousness, what do you do? <laughs> that didn't sound like a shotgun at all. Oh, come on, man. This is supposed to be like some of the best sounds. I love those sound effects. The whole ch ch and the ch ch. This is Frank. Yeah. Especially when they go to raise their gun, it's like ch ch. Moving in from every. It's like, what? You didn't even pump it. Pushing through, converging in. Ch ch such that there is only one possible exit, and that is here. What if he doesn't run? Don't worry. It will. If you don't corner it, you'll be fine. You take the I think they just didn't want to shut down streets for a movie, so they decided to make one in the pits of L.A. This is unit three pushing off. I think, oh my, I think it's a bear or something, or a tiger. I'm sure it wouldn't like that, that's for sure. People really have to do this in countries to this day. You have to go into the woods and smack pans with spoons in order to scare away man-eating animals. It outmaneuvered them? Oh no, it's there. Can't get away. We'll be flushing them out in five minutes. Yeah, they're still in there. Where's he gonna go? Where did he come from? That's what I'd like to know. Where did he come from? Where did he go? Astronauts, guys, here she comes. Ready position. Let's go. You really see a bunch of cops and waiters often. <laughs> Would the, the department have to go out to the local sporting goods section and pick up a whole bunch of waiters? Oh, 
baby. We better go figure out what we're gonna hand the press on this one. They missed it, Chief. I don't know how, but it's still in there. She's very pretty. For a redhead. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, shoot, man. You guys better run. Yes. Yes, what we've all been waiting for. Oh, cool. That's the one on the TV. Oh, cool. So they made the street look really small and brought on an alligator. This <laughs> Nice, because you got to get a car wreck in there somehow. Oh, oh, you're missing it. Lay down, sweetie. Oh, my God. Lay down. Lay down. Oh. Oh. Oh, jeez. The only thing that's missing is like blood spraying it everywhere, like a Tarantino flick. Put up the alligator. I said later. I'm sorry, Connie. Give us that plane an alligator, and Joe is driving me bad. He's <laughs> got a knife. It's gonna get too hot with you up here. Wow. <laughs> Those, that's some, I just love that they used a real crocodile and then they made the park look tiny. Hey, look at the hole he made! He'll go for water. What? He'll go for water. He's expended a lot of energy and he'll look for a place with water to rest. That's one! This is just like the lost world. We canals? And we got that lake over there! <laughs> the T-Rex ends up drinking out of the pool. Give this lady an idea of how big he was. Just a guess. Is it as big as he is? You know an Eldorado? Car. No, a refrigerator. Of course a car. Wait a minute. You're saying it was as big as a car? Yeah. Of course you gotta have the tail. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> oh, casting. Righteous. Look at the size of this thing. Now the bomb squad is here. According to this, it should be 30 to 40 feet long. But it is an alligator. I don't think I'd want to be on that water in a small boat. Didn't these people watch Jaws? Oh, shit. What the hell is that? People are setting off charges to see if we can bring them up. Oh, okay. I see why they had the bomb squad now. That makes sense. I've flown in Colonel Brock to take charge of the operation. Take charge? Yeah, well, he's hunted big game animals all over the world. What the hell do you expect me to do? Just stay out from under my feet. Do something with your hair. Start right now, guys. Who is this pretty girl? This is Dr. Uh, Kendall. She's oh, the, uh... Yes, the uh, lizard lady. <laughs> Looks like he's about to go on a safari. Well, now you can go back to your books. You'd better take all the help you can get. Well, if I couldn't get myself killed chasing it, what fun would it be? Hey, sport, want to see something? <laughs> It's yours for 20. Feed him whatever's left on the table, throw some water on it. Double sauce. Bust this guy. Four. Four. Beta Creek. An alligator is a very romantic creature. It gets the itch. Come spring. <laughs> will attract another alligator? Well, I'm, I'm hoping so. I'm counting on it. Imagine hearing that in the sewers. I think he's gonna need a bigger gun. Jeez! He's a big one! What is this? Alligator sport! Don't step in it! <laughs> Residents are warned to stay off the streets and are asked to report any of the sightings of the alligator immediately. <laughs> They're looking in all the pools. And you worked with progesterone as well? Sure, we tested them all. Mm -hmm. Jersey. Big for a calf. Tech that the world has a food shortage problem. We're trying to do something about that. You manufactured a synthetic form of testosterone. Yes, we had some success with that. 
Why didn't you market it? It tended to hyperexcite the organism's metabolic rate. <laughs> Made them grow. It gave them an insatiable appetite. You didn't really expect me to work under that guy Brock, did you? Homicide? Not anymore. Not no more. Apparently, we stepped on all the wrong toes. Well, can they do that? Sure they can do that. It's their town. They can do anything they want. Well, how do you feel? I was always worried they were going to can me anyway. Now that happened, phew, I feel wonderful. <laughs> what are you going to do? Go out there, I'm going to find that alligator, and I'm going to kick his ass. When do we start? She seemed to come out OK for having a crazy father. Uh, evidence of alligator nesting. That'd be like shoes. Alligator nesting, <laughs> shoes, handbag, luggage. Yeah. Got a shopping cart up here. Doll collar. Is that its nest? Oh. How did that even? How did the crocodile do that? It's just a dog. Just a, just a dog. See, there are other animals stashed around here too. Cover your eyes, Cassandra. At least in Florida, they keep them in the swamps where they belong. <laughs> A little bit of corn, beef hash. Corn, <laughs> beef hash. <laughs> Tonight's a school night. Now, what about your homework? Mom, I'm the teacher. I mean, this is nice. <laughs> and it's such a shame. Oh. Hey, look, Ramon. If you want to come home on time, Ramon Santiago. She didn't notice the name on the wall. Oh, they're not gonna seriously. Oh, okay. there's no. Oh, he did eat the kid. I did not think the kid was gonna get it. But I guess the kid in Jaws got it too. When I first met you, I thought you were one of those real tight asses. Well, you did. No, you're wrong, weren't you? When I first met you, I thought you were someone whose apartment would look just like this. Quite right. One of these days, I'm going to shovel it out. Those couch mattresses are always like this. <laughs> We're going to go to dinner now, right? Right. And all the while, I'm going to be wondering whether or not you're going to come back and spend the night with me. See, if I have to eat food and I'm worried about yes or no, it sort of hyper excites my metabolic rate. Oh. Can I take this as a definitive yes? Yes. You guys know the neighborhood. So, brothers. Every expedition needs its bearers. What's in it for us? Ten dollars a day, a piece. Oh, riot! <laughs> They're not gonna last a day. I get twenty. <laughs> <laughs> the local chieftain. <laughs> There's a heavy penalty in this life of fear. Can't blame yourself for surviving. Survivor's skill is a real thing. <laughs> I'm fighting male parent baldness. I'm a little sensitive on the subject, and I hope you don't mention it again. <laughs> baldness. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's definitely a real one. Oh, man, just like Jaws. Come on, let's split. Don't understand me so quick. You can see why he's a little irritable, but she's trying to nurture, and that's not a bad thing. Yeah. Hmm. Mom will be waiting. She probably is only like 30. She's like, what, 45? You name it, I apologize for it. Don't forget tonight's a school night, Marissa. You, uh, want to see my rock collection? 
What does anybody need anybody for? You're the country's leading herpetologist. You have a wonderful mind, a doctor degree, and beautiful tits. Mm. And I know I'm a pain in the ass sometimes, but anything worth having is going to be trouble. That is, unless you want to go live with the turtles. Well, we'll see. Well, we'll see. He continues in that direction. He's going to hit the canal. If we wait downstream, he's going to come right to us. He's not hiding in a bush. <laughs> you never know. Holy shit. <laughs> That's him off the port. the 50 on that one. They couldn't even do anything? There he is! Oh, God, they didn't know that's where it was gonna be? Oh, no! Oh! That didn't work out. I would be swimming so much faster than that. Ah! Get me the hell out of here! Get him, get him. Yes, yes! Oh, ow. Imagine your legs getting bit off. I would choke it in water, two, three weeks, four weeks at a time. Now you go out and then you build yourself a great big deep bit of charcoal like charcoal. that. <laughs> and, and, and then you take your, your hickory, you know, put your hickory loose here. This guy being a cock block. But don't you drown out your fire. Oh, and then that aroma, that aroma starts. You can Stop. smell it. about to walk into a feast. Oh my God. Damn. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, for crying out loud. Oh, she got it. She is not going to survive that. Yeah, that's, does this mean it's good luck for your wedding? I don't think that 38 special is going to even poke a hole. This is so absurd. So perfect at the same time. <laughs> How many people does he have to eat? God. God. He's not much of a roller, he's more of just like a biter. Run, man, run. I don't think I would. Oh. How many people are gonna die that way in this movie? Man, get the hell out of here! Nice. He hasn't even started the car yet. Uh, Jesus, what the hell is going on? Of course it's a Cadillac. Open the door and get out. Is he gonna get crushed inside of the car? coming you've got to let us in alligator some cauliflower on that ear i got a magician and a three-piece orchestra open it damn hurry up you really had to point your gun oh, jesus christ where is it? where is it? <laughs> he has his tongue bitten out storm drain you're right He's headed back to the sewer. And we know exactly where to find him. Let the chief know where I'm coming up and make sure that manhole is clear. Got it. I love you, baby. So long. You're gonna go in there alone. I guess you have to. You are the protagonist.
Is that a mating call? <laughs> I thought it just farted. Oh no. I'm gonna need a bigger gun, man. That's just a pea shooter. You can make a lot of boots out of that gator. Methane. Oh, that's right. He's gonna. He's gonna blow him up. I forgot about the methane. Perfect. Yes. Dude, you're gonna blow a crater in the city. It's almost like the teeth on that thing could be a little bit bigger. How could you even breathe? That's a lot of methane. I love how he knows how to set the bomb. I'm gonna match my watch up with this clock here. wouldn't kill you. <laughs> it was just walking towards him. What did it do? Spin around? <laughs> That's great. Oh, perfect. Oh no. Open up! Your car! You gotta move your car! No! Oh, look what she's wearing. Hey, you asshole! Look at me! Get over it! <laughs> you better drive five more blocks down the road because you're going up. Head up first? This movie's bananas. You'll live. Oh, now he wants to be friends with him again? Yeah, you believe me now. No dream. When did I ever doubt you? We got him. We sure did. Sometimes it's nice just to be able to turn your brain off and enjoy a good creature feature. That was a lot of fun and I'm really happy that I found out about that movie because I'm really into uh, man-eating movies <laughs> or just like the whole concept of that fascinates me. If you're ever interested in reading anything along those lines that's true, look up Jim Corbett. He's the author and he's also the hunter who goes out and he takes care of these man-eaters in India or wherever, mostly tigers and leopards, big cats, things like that. But he was a, a specialist at what he did and he was a phenomenal writer. So if you're ever interested in reading anything that has to do with man eaters, I, I would definitely suggest reading that. As far as this movie, I wanted to go ahead and read a little portion out of this book. I saw Alligator three times that year, 1980 when it came out. One of those times was on a triple feature with Rolling Thunder and a Canadian trucker flick called High Ballin' with Peter Fonda and Jerry Reed. And I agree wholeheartedly with Kevin Thomas, he was a film critic at the time, about the charm of Forrester and Riker, which were the two main characters, the redhead and the police officer. So much so, when I did my top 10 movies at the end of the year and wrote my little awards, best actress, best actor, best director, it was Robert Forster who was my choice for best male performance of that year. Robert De Niro for Raging Bull was my number two. 15 years later, I was writing my adaption for Elmore Leroy's, for Elmore Leroy, for Elmore Leonard's, for Elmore, 15 years later, I was writing my adaptation for Elmore Leonard's Rum Punch 
which I retitled Jackie Brown, and I had to consider who was to play the novel's likable lead male character, bail bondsman Max Cherry. I had a few choices. Gene Hackman was an obvious choice, as was Paul Newman. I also considered John Saxon, but there was something about Forster and Alligator that really stuck with me. I watched the movie again and felt that the character from Alligator would be Max Cherry just 15 years earlier. So I started writing the script as if he was right down to the discussion with Jackie, right down to the dis right down to the discussion, right down to the discussion with Jackie about his thinning hair. <sighs> Anyhow, I thought that was interesting and thought you guys would like to hear that out in the internet world. But as far as the movie, it was cool when they when they got to the part with the animal testing and what they would do with the subjects, which was dispose of them in the sewer. But I maybe about 15 years ago, I used to work for this international um, this international about 15 years. It just gets so hot in here without the air conditioner on. I don't have central air, so if I run an air conditioning unit that's in the window over there, it's too loud and it would pick up on the mic. So I'm sorry if I if I look like I'm hot one second and I'm cool the next because I took a break. But yeah, Cassandra wants to keep laying on me, but I can't let her because I just get too hot. She's like a thermal blanket. Ugh, I can't cool down right now. Oh, all right, it's so hot. I'm gonna try and finish this up. So around the part where they were talking about the incinerator and it reminded me of this. So around the part where they were at the lab and they had to get rid of all the, the dogs and dump them, it reminded me of working for this international environmental consulting company maybe 15 years ago and we would do stack testing all over the country. One of the places we did stack testing at was a pharmaceutical company. It was a major pharmaceutical company and they do a lot of testing there. After the testing, they incinerate all their subjects. And what we did was we tested the incinerator, what we called the monkey burner, uh, which was like a 2000 degree Fahrenheit uh, incinerator, essentially and we would stick a probe through the stack and test the matter that's coming out of the stack. Make sure it's not polluting the environment too bad and making sure that it's staying within regulations. But the metal pipes that we'd pull out would be glowing orange because it was so hot and obviously it would have to be because you're completely destroying the evidence. <sighs> I hope to be able to watch a lot more of these older creature features, especially from the 70s. I, I haven't watched a lot of movies from the 70s, so I'm excited about that. Well, if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and leave a like. If you think you can answer any of my questions, go ahead and leave a comment, and I'll see you again in the next one. Later. If anybody's interested in anything man-eaters, you should consider reading Jim Corbett, who was a naturalist who could go out into the woods and take care of man-eaters that were haunting villages, specifically in places like India, where they had a lot of tigers and leopards who for whatever reason were maimed or had broken teeth or couldn't kill their normal prey so they would prey upon humans. <sighs> yeah. This happens even today. People have to go and take care of these problems. But he writes pretty detailed stories uh, relating to that and I, I find it a lot of fun to read. You need something that's exciting and going to keep you turning the page. I would highly suggest Jim Corbett, and Quentin Tarantino. All around. But anyhow, that's all. I'll see you guys later.